bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by softlayer.com. We love Softlayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at softlayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Hi, thanks for joining us again on the Fitness and Beauty Roundup. We're back with Brandy. Why it takes some people a little long, bodies a little longer to respond to dieting. To the changes in diet. To the changes in diet, changes in exercise, when they start making a change. Um, Now, of course, that could depend on what they're doing and the the diet they're following. Right. Um, But obviously, if you're more athletic or you've Mm -hmm. been taking care to on with what you're eating mm-hmm. and, and having regular workouts, your body's going to respond a little quicker right. than someone who might be, say, 30 or 40 pounds overweight mm-hmm. um, and isn't used to a regular exercise plan or a regular eating plan or even paying attention to what they're eating. Right. So what do you find with, I mean, obviously we're being very general here. I mean, mm-hmm. everyone's a little bit different, but how long would you say it takes for someone who, like, walked in who's not been taking care of themselves, not been working out, not taking paying attention to what they eat. What's a typical turning point? I, I think that typically what happens is when someone starts treating their bodies well, mm-hmm. number one, they've lived in a state of shock. Okay. Their bodies have lived in an, an imbalanced state of shock because it doesn't know what to expect. Am I going to get fed? Am I going to have exercise? Am I going to have oxygen from exercise? Am I going to sleep? You know, Mm. all these things that go along with either unbalanced or imbalanced or balanced wellness. Um, And so I I think that it depends on how unbalanced they are. Mm. Uh, Typically, the average person who comes in to see me who is 30 or 40 pounds overweight, if I put them on, you know, what I call the Brandy Beakley diet or whatever, um, they sometimes it takes anywhere from, you know, a month to six weeks, maybe even eight weeks to see real results. Okay. Um, and, and that's just because their body, again, is in a state of shock. We've got to give it some consistency mm-hmm. because chances are they've never had any. Um, we've seen that recently with a few of our clients and the, the turning point when it happens, it's really exciting. You know, yeah. because as, as their coach or as their trainer, mm-hmm. um, you get to see their face light up and and it clicks that, okay, all my efforts aren't in vain. This is working. They can change. They can change. And I think that's the, you know, the thing is that they just got, they need to be patient and they have to be consistent and they have to do exactly what you ask them to. Because oftentimes, you know, you get people that, um, and it happens every, every year I have somebody, Mm. you know, they come in and they've been on the diet for, eight weeks, whatever, and they're not losing any weight. Well, eight weeks and you're not losing any weight, we've got a problem. I'm going to send you to the doctor at this point. (laughs) No, really. I mean, you know, they may be there. uh, They have health issues or something's going on that I'm not qualified to help them with. And I want to make sure, I'm going to see what that is Mm -hmm. so that we can get them well. So, you know, let's say they come in and uh, they're getting on the scale and they give you that look like, oh, I, I don't. I'm doing what you're asking. I, I don't know why it's not moving. Hmm. And that's when, you know, you have to, it's like moment of reckoning. Right. And you look them square in the face and say, you're lying. Ooh. Like, <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> That'd because, be a fun moment. I mean, it, well, it, it is yeah. a fun moment, actually. <laughs> for um, you. For me. <laughs> the thing is that oftentimes, you know, people think that you can't tell. Right. Well, anybody who's been doing this as long as you and I have yeah. knows yeah. when someone's doing what they're supposed to do or not. Right. Um, and, and, you know, and then on the flip side of that, you get people who come in and they do it, and, you know, it takes three, four weeks. If they are rigid right. and disciplined, their bodies will respond faster. Not immediately like a well-trained, well-balanced right. person, right. but it will respond faster. And so, it's you know, it, there's both sides of the coin, but that whole, you know, I'm not getting results because it's not working, Mm. just isn't true because science is science is science, right? Right. And although some of our bodies may respond differently due to their environments, Mm. they're all essentially still similar. Yeah. You know, we all have the same organs. We all have the same, you know, yes, yes, uh, and and systems. So it's science. And so 
you know, if we get to that point where someone's not making the changes, I say either one, you need to go to the doctor, or two, you need to be honest with me. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. That simple. That's, that's <laughs> I'm sure it's simple from you, and I'm sure for them, they've probably, if maybe someone who's 30 or 40 pounds overweight and been that way their, most of their life, they've probably lied about what they've eaten. Mm -hmm. For a long time. For a long time. Yeah. Or denied it, not paid attention to it. Right. Um, sometimes there's ignorance about what a certain food does, but for most right. part, if you laid out a plan for them, right. it's fairly It's clear. cut and dry. And so consistency is... Is key. But maybe difficult for them because they've right. never had it. Like when that's the other thing, that's another reason it may take eight weeks, you mm -hmm. know, is we may need to go through the first few weeks and, you know, I may have um, Mrs. Smith come in and, and she's not getting results, but, you know, after week one, I look over her diet and, and she's doing... A, B, and D, not A, B, and C. You know what I mean? There may be just small right. things. And from that point, it's just learning. Right. And tweaks. that's why so, you've got to go, you know, you've got to be patient as a, as a, a practitioner right. and with your clients and saying, look, okay, here's what we got to change. Here's mm -hmm. what um, you can do instead. You mm -hmm. know, helping them create those life balances mm -hmm. that are maintainable. Right. Because I feel like a lot, you know, often I've seen, clients come in and <clears throat> maybe they were given a you know really low calorie diet and they were told to have 50 grams of protein a day and 100 <sighs> grams of carbs and you know whatever it may be right but the program's not sustainable and it's so far from what they know yes. they'll never do it and so typically I, I like to have someone's diet for a week mm -hmm. and say okay Bring in, I tell them, bring, me, bring in what you eat in a week, write down the time you eat it, what you eat. You don't have to write in all the nutrient stuff. We'll figure that out along the way. But I just need to see what your habits are. Sure. So if I don't know your Starting habits, point. yeah, I don't know what to fix. Right. Um, so it's kind of creating those low resistance habits to create, you know, to push forth with long term results. Gotcha. So, you know, because if, if I asked them to eat the way that I eat right now, they would never do it. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's taken me years to get to where I am. It's too great of a change. It's too great time. of a change, yeah. Okay. And so I don't want, I don't want people to have these unrelax, you know, like expectations of, oh gosh, I started a diet, I should see results immediately, and I should right. be able to mentally do this, right? Because that's not reality. Right. And so taking those baby steps are good, you know. I mean, okay. I kind of said, you know, I'm I'm harsh with the whole don't lie mm -hmm. to me on the scale thing, but it's really because I don't want them to waste their time. Sure. I don't want to waste my time, and I don't want them to waste their money, and I want them to get well. Yeah. And that kind of starts with that honesty. So you have to move forward just at a yeah. level that is comfortable, comfortable for and them manageable. Move, manageable for them to do. Yeah. Not unrealistic. That's but right. But still moving forward. That's right. That's right. Okay. And, you know, it's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have people who come in, and they lose 50 pounds out of the gate. And then we've got people who come in, and they lose consistently 12 to 15 pounds a year and never gain it back, which is a very healthy, that's my favorite choice, to be honest. Um, you know, if I could have everyone who needed to lose weight, lose weight in a way, in a certain way, it would be gradually, you know, 10, 12, 15 pounds a year. More maintainable. More, mm -hmm, more able absolutely. To hang on to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. And it's healthier, you know, they're less likely to get injured. They're more likely to maintain that lifestyle. Less likely to yo-yo. Yeah. So even if I never see them after a year or two, you know, if, mm -hmm. if I see them 10 years down the road, chances are they're going to still be healthy, and that's the goal. Because they changed their lifestyle. Right. And we're able to stick with it. That's right. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, one thing I have to, I have to bring up is um, I, I know from being a trainer, all the questions you get when you do put them on a certain plan, you get a... a <clears throat> with questions from things they've probably read, heard on the inter seen on the internet, mm -hmm. heard from friends, seen at the grocery store and yeah. the pages. So, I mean, there's a lot of mixed messages messages out there mm -hmm. about how you're supposed to eat, how this celebrity eats, this new diet. And so you're obviously fighting that and you're yeah. trying to gain credibility right. with what you're saying mm -hmm. to them versus the latest Bad. That's a conversation I have with them, though, and mm -hmm. especially my athletes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and we should probably have it more often with just gen general clients who come in for wellness help. Mm -hmm. But is that, you know, if you're going to pay me for my services, I need you to listen to what I'm telling you 
and try to filter out all the outside noise so that you can hear me. Mm. Because if you're getting, right. you know, pieces here and there, you know, they don't all work in the same equation. Right. And so it, I use the athlete example because it's a good one. Athletes, when they come to you, they will follow the program 95% mm -hmm. of the time. And so they get results, you know, every week their body fat drops a percent. Every week. Well, you know, body. Yeah, yeah. Their, bo their body mass is slowly inclining, you know, hopefully. Their body fat's dropping um, at a really good, healthy rate. Whereas, and, and that's, I use the athlete example because um, they hear so many other things too. You know, well, I did this on my contest diet. Somebody else says I did this on my, my diet. And so it's important for them to follow the specific plan mm -hmm. because, you know, if they're doing a carb cycle, well, a carb cycle doesn't work with a fat cycle. Right. If you're fat cycling, it doesn't work with a carb cycle. <laughs> Right, mm -hmm. yeah. it will You're mess be you up. All that stuff. Yes, yeah. and so yeah. those kinds of things, you know, I, I just usually sit them down and say, "Hey, listen, um, I need you to filter that noise out, mm -hmm. and you listen to me, and you listen to only me. And if you're not okay with that, then you should work with someone else." And not okay. saying that I, I, I mean, because I definitely have lots to learn. Right. But with you know specific diets. I know what I'm doing, and if you'll listen, you'll get the results you want. So it, it's one of those things where they just, they, you gotta have them trust you. They gotta trust you, and, and they gotta be open minded to say, okay, I'm gonna hone in on this. Follow this one plan. Focus this one plan, <laughs> right? You can't do the cabbage diet and the carb cycle and right. all these other things, you know, because they don't work together. That's why they're separate gotcha. things. So I, I try to get people to minimize their magazine subscriptions to, <laughs> you know, health and self and right. all those other ones. Um, there's one, two specifically that I do really like, um, but they give really good research-backed information. And yeah. so... But that's usually not what's blaring at That's them. not what people are picking up. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not what they're picking up. It's not what's on the commercial. It's not what's on the magazine. It's not what's right on now. the main page at Yahoo. Right. You know, I mean, right. every day there's something up about, you know, Get thin eating right. yogurt or something. Right. I, I don't know. You eat know, the way you want. Eat the way you want. Don't that miss kind a thing. of stuff. Don't yeah. miss a thing. Yeah, that works. That's all <laughs> BS. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if if we have to miss a few things, obviously. Yeah. You know, if you want to totally change <clears throat> directions uh, and change the way you've been going for however many years. Right. If you want to bring that back to a healthy state, mm -hmm. you're obviously going to make some some changes, right. and you're going to make some choices that you might miss something, mm -hmm. but what you're gaining is, is your health. Yeah. So, great. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, check back, and uh, for the next time of Nashville Fitness and Beauty Roundup, we'll have more great stuff. We're definitely going to have Brandy back, because she's awesome. Thanks, Zane. All right. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.